strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. These people seem calm, but they're part of the same group as the ones that attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? That's possible, but the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? He has a cruel face. I can't talk to you. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled. He is bad. He has a bad face. Look, he keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. The fuck? Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Weapons are forbidden. Oh fuck! I was low on health. Holy shit! machines you have his face but you might stop this this i forget how to read but this was the start what he promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky jacob what does it say it's a crew logbook some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long they were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay my father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. Jesus Christ. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle, or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. Oh, After fuck. the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Oh, Jesus. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping oh, people safe. Jesus. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. So why call for help now? The surviving males are changing. Everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. We're gonna kill his dad. Free. 
like the old bodies were posed like a warning. The newer bodies were just left wherever they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Oh, Jesus. This is fucked. I'm front! <laughs> Choices. A little late to blame his victim. Oh, fuck. Crewmates got in my way. It looks like the old bodies were posed like a warning. The newer bodies were just left wherever they fell. and hear him justify this. Oh, let's go kill his fucking dad. This is him? This is Ronald Taylor? You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I'm 
Gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Uh, hang on one second, let me ban this person. Uh, get out of here. There we go. Alright, here we go. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. Uh... Yeah, fuck this guy. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can point to exactly where it all went wrong when you developed a fucking cult, dumbass. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his mechs. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. I think we've got a pretty good idea. Hell yeah we do! My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! 
You were a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Oh shit! Oh shit! Let's go! Holy fuck! Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We could be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Wait, what? Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Ah, oh, fuck. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Bro, Jacob, go for it, man. I'm not interested. Bro, go for it. I got my alien girlfriend. You go for it, bro. Come on. We've got work to do. Hi, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Damn, we are just cleaning up. Can we talk to Jacob? Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? Like I said, if we don't upgrade the hull on this boat, people will die. I have some Lion's favors I can call in if you have the resources. Yeah, we can 100% do that. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the- Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Hell yeah, we did it. Let's go. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Wait, Maybe but what about my later. crew? What about my crew? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything Nothing. I should know? Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. We need to really make sure that we got all the upgrades we want. Because that'll definitely help us. I'm trying to save as many people as possible. Thanks again, Shepard. 
taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket, after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe. Comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me. Which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. You know where she is. You can get in touch if you change your mind. It would be a mistake. I'd be risking her safety for my own selfish reasons. No better than my father. It was never a temptation until I saw her. I'll just have to keep my distance. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. We did it! But also, do you do you know of any upgrades we can give to the Normandy? Do you, do you, do you know of Commander. any upgrades? What can I do for you? No, you don't. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Do you know of any upgrades that we can give to the ship? How may I help you, Commander? Commander. What's this here? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I wonder if Thane... I think we finished all the Thane stuff. Do you need some? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best... I've already talk. upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no addition. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Grunt, Jack... I wonder if because we settled the Miranda Jack fight, I wonder if we can talk to Jack now, or if that of her talking is just her being upset because I I I and unintentionally let her on. Fuck off. Okay. Fuck off. Okay. All right. Well, Jack just hates us forever now. We we know longer have to deal with talking to Jack, I guess. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Whatever happens, Engineer Donnelly and Engineer Daniels must survive. They must survive. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? Um, of course. <laughs> I don't want to risk your health. But I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine to share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. Damn. 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 Spoken like a true poet. Now it's real horny hours. Feed the fish! Wait, 
We gotta make sure Squee's okay. How you doing, Squee? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't get over the fact that my fucking picture of Liara has been turned over and is gone. Alpha Draconis has been examined. What's up, Samara? This is as good a point of any for me to use the restroom, so I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll be right, right back. What's up, Arya? What do you need? Oh fuck, no, I didn't Why mean to do that. A nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to loosen up a little. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that I can handle. Are the Vorcha going to be a problem from here on out? Not as bad as they used to be. They breed fast, but they die young. As long as we keep them controlled, we'll be fine. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. 
keep up the good work. Where? Keep up the good work. Is that Shepard? Sorry, Shaira, more commonly known as the Cons. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. I heard you talking about it. What do you want? Please, please, we're all friends here. There's no need for language of that sort. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. Not illegal? I doubt it. Well, it's certainly legal on Omega. I can't be expected to know the laws of every settlement in the galaxy, can I? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. No. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. Don't be coy with me. I'm not in the mood. Ah, my mistake. Of course. Just don't hit me. Certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. Mm. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. It's nothing illicit. I, just, I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. Look around for anything that... Good luck, my friend. Alright, that's... That's if we decide to do that. Well, we probably won't. Humans, flight on galactic purity. You say you're a flight. End. End is not. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Let's go. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Uh -oh. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> My baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out. Something did change in the last. I see. Oh, we already we already asked that. She kept dragging Neff. Did Neff hang out she anywhere? She was always quiet working here at home. Ben, I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just. I don't know. I skipped that. My bad, guys. Tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My Neff had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and. The best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative. How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes. 
her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. Oh, uh, we gotta give her a hug. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Neth, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Oh, Jesus. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Oh, this is fucked. This is fucked. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Ah, oh, fuck. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw more in <laughs> Of course she will. She'll certainly Look at flee Grungle. when she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. Very well. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. All right, time to go to the Afterlife VIP. What do you want? 
Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeroot. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Let's go. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this. Until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Just flash that dashing smile. You know, fucking... Let's, let's, uh... Oh wait, I forgot, we don't have eyebrows, so... Perfect. How do I convince her to take me home? She Come on, Shepard, you've done this before! And vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morin will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Alright, let's get this shit. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. Hey. Hey. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. Oh, hell yeah, let's go! That was also the smoothest fucking line in the entire series. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, you can. I don't talk to people. What do you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! Holy shit. Bro, if that shit happened... If I was at a bar and that shit happened, let's fucking go. The cred hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep him on our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? A 
pair of sad losers who think they're something and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. <laughs> Get fucked. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights here we go. There's just one person. Tonight it's you. Why is that? You and I want the same thing. Do we? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen bids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel Tent. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concerts soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halle? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, easy as pie. Easy as pie. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Solid, okay. Oh shit, they really, she really got the bed right there. into dueling for a while I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes he knows you're better and he's going to die have a hallux if you want but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now I certainly do I love clubs people movement heat I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood but here it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. We do. So quick to agree. into my eyes and tell me you want me tell me you'd kill for me anything I want don't count on it but you who are you oh no I see what's going on the bitch herself found a little helper let's go Marin. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, 
You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Yeah, kill more. It's easy. Easy money. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <laughs> Let's go! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and oh, get on with my life. Fuck. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about oh, what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Holy shit! God damn!